Alright, what's up everybody? So, I have a bridge stretch tutorial for you today, or the bridge tutorial. Basically, this is the bridge. First off, the bridge stretch can help you with a lot of different things, whether that be like yoga, or b-boying moves, freezes, such as like hollow backs, inverts, really help my inverts with the shoulder flexibility and the core flexibility you get from the bridge stretch. Also, you can make up different freezes in this move. What up? Also, it can help with backhand springs and backflips. Especially with the fear and backflips, but with the back handspring, that like whip part, okay? Really helps with that, and with front handsprings too, because it's that core flexibility that gives you that arch. I'm basically just going to show you how to do it. It only takes like two seconds to learn how to do it, as in like technical, technical wise, but to actually do it, um, I have some progressions, some exercises for you that will hopefully help you get there, you know, safely and effectively as well. So, first off, how to do the bridge stretch. It's very easy. You have your feet forward like this, and your hands. You want them to be like you're doing a handstand, not like this. You want it like this, like put your fingers up and then put your palms backwards like this, okay? And then when you put your palms on the ground, you're gonna have your fingers facing your feet. See, just like I'm doing a back handspring. Like, uh, back handspring. Which also makes it another reason you should learn this. Okay, and then you push up. And then you're in a bridge, and you can walk it in, make it more arched and everything and whatnot, okay? So that's pretty much how you do it. Okay, now progressions for the bridge stretch, all right? Because probably not a good idea for most people just to jump right into this one. So, the first progression I like to do for the bridge stretch is actually forward, okay? And I like to just do it. I put my hands down like I'm in the push-up position. You can even get into a push-up position like this. But we're gonna we're actually gonna start down on the ground, push up position on the ground, okay? And then you just push up like this. Now, the thing is is a lot of people will try and like arch at the lower back, like extremely arch down at the lower spine too much, and that can actually cause a little too much stress on just the lower vertebrae of the spine, okay, which um might not be the best idea for most people. You'll actually kind of feel yourself overstretching this area. So what I like to do is you want to try and focus on bringing on, like loosening up the core, okay? You want to loosen up the core muscles and let the full spine stretch, okay? Try and create that quarter of a circle arch. Not so much like, not so much like a, like a bend. Don't, don't like just bend at the bottom. Like, you know, you want to just try and create a fluid arch. Okay, pi over two, boom. And you can hold this for a little bit. And bring it in like this. This is a, in between yoga poses, they normally, they'll go back to this. I think this is a baby pose. And then you wanna go into this. And then you can go back into the baby pose. And then to this. Now I'd hold these for about 10 to 20 seconds each. Okay, and now do this. This is a good way to get warmed up if you're not already warmed up a little bit. I would suggest warming up a little bit more before jumping into this anyways, okay? But this will actually get you warmed up around this area. And it also starts to stretch out the abdominals, stretch out the spine, get it ready for going into a more advanced bridge stretch. Now, you don't even have to move on from this on the same day. You could just continue that and then call it a day and then come back the next day. But let's just continue. Let's move on to the next progression that I would recommend. So now we're going to go back to our back, all right? And then now what we want to do is we want to push our core off like this and stay on our upper shoulders and then bring our body up straight like this, staying on the shoulders up here, okay? And try and hold this for a little bit. This will actually work some muscles like your butt. Like I need a bigger butt, you know. And then, progression from here. Put your arms under here like this. And it'll give you more of a stretch. Grab that booty. Let me try some. Cool freeze. Yeah. You can go from here up to your shoulders. Down back. And then try and push it a little bit further each time. And you can even start to put your hands in position, all right? If you're getting, if you're feeling, you know, good enough to go up. I know this looks bad. This looks really bad. Don't let your mom see you doing this one. I'm so sorry. 
Oh my god, Marissa, what are you doing? All right, so that's progression number two. And then if you want to put the hands under like I did, I don't know how well I demonstrated that. Like this, hands, and push a little bit more of an arch, okay? And remember to try and get that fluid arch through the back. Nothing like kinked in one area. And then when you're feeling pretty good, you're feeling comfortable, you know, you're feeling like you're getting like a decent amount, you can actually go up to the head, all right? Get up to this, put your hands down, and then you can put roll back onto your head, okay? With your hands down. But don't go too far, all right? Don't, don't go like, you know, pull them. You know, don't go like, like too far. Just kind of roll back. Make sure you, if it's not soft, this isn't that soft, but you know, you get like a pillow or something. Put it down so it's softer. Do it this on carpet or something. You know, not on cement, but I have this yoga pad, which is my mom's. All right, so put your hands down like you're gonna do a bridge stretch. You know, fingers pointing towards the toes, and then push up just onto your head, okay? We're not lifting up, and we're also using our hands to help counterweight some of this uh, pressure. So all the pressure isn't on our head. We're feeling good on the first one. We're feeling good on the second one. We're warmed up. We're feeling warm. It's all good. We like that. We're going to push up now, okay? We're going to push up. It's going to be freaking amazing. So you're going to put your feet out. Down like this. Up to that first one on the shoulders. Put the hands down. Fingers facing there. And then we try and push up with the shoulders. But... If you come back down, remember to tuck your chin in like this. Don't try and continue to look back further. You wanna, you wanna look back further when you're stretching, sure. But when you come down, you tuck the chin, okay? So, look at him up. All right, tuck it in and go back onto my shoulders. Up, sexy. Tuck into my shoulders. That's to make sure you don't just, you don't just crack on your cranium. Little advice, little tip is, is if like, you know, you're gonna go for the whole bridge stretch, you might not be quite there yet, is if you um, if you bring your feet out further, it's a little bit harder to put your hands down, but you don't have to arch as much, okay? So if I put my hands way out, it's harder to hold though. So, but you, you don't have to be as flexible. But there's more, um, there's more uh, freedom to slip. So I kind of like to go half circle it. All right, or work my way up to the half circle. But if you want, you can put your feet out a little bit further so you don't have to stretch as much and still do it. After you get the bridge stretched down, you know, for whatever you're gonna do with it, you know, cause it really depends what you're gonna do with it. Like if you're gonna do a hollow backs and stuff, what I like to do is I like to do the walkovers or where I go up into a handstand, fall into a bridge stretch and then push back over, okay? And progression for the walkover now, this is like, we're going full advance. This is like bonus. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, so progression for the walkover is I would do this on a soft soft ground first and find a wall where it's soft, like carpet or something, so you can bend out with your, with your head. But the idea will be here, is we're gonna go up and we're gonna touch the wall and we're gonna walk down and we're gonna put one foot on the wall, right? Okay, so one foot's on the wall, one foot's down, and then we walk over. You see that? That's how that'll help you with the walkovers um, with no wall eventually. So one foot goes on the wall, one foot down, push over. If you feel yourself slipping out. I will slip out, all right? If you feel yourself slipping out, you can, you can either roll out like that, tuck the chin, or you can break sideways, okay? So that's a general tutorial on the bridge stretch, and that should also give you some help on the walking over part, if you're gonna do back handsprings, front handsprings, or just have that ability. Um, I really hope this helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, everybody. Peace, and don't forget to subscribe. Double <laughs> Holy